Hello again, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It is Thursday already, the 23rd of April. These uh, weeks just kind of keep flying by, don't they? Anyway, it uh, looks like uh, we're down a little bit on some news of home sales, and uh, that's not the best thing, but just seeing that uh, housing might be a drag on the economy. There's uh, some worries about that. Again, just looking through Yahoo Finance here. And... Um, Apple did smoke the earnings. That's a nice thing. It's kind of helping prop up the market just a little bit here. And over the last five or ten minutes, actually we've got a little bit of a pop just on the three-minute chart here of the S&P 500 on this falling wedge pattern. You can see the momentum through here slowing also. Uh, if you draw these uh, trend lines in, you know, it's not rocket science, but you can actually see the momentum shifting from these swing lows. And uh, the trend is actually helping to corroborate that a little bit. And now it's actually shifting, kind of just chopping around. So here's the trend at 1.1. That's not a good bullish indicator, but it's still around the neutral range. But the trend Q actually dropped, and then it's kind of spiked back up and then sold off again. I guess it's on a sell-off, but uh, it does measure that uh, volume flowing into stocks on the increase. So this, again, this is kind of helping, and uh, we would have to, again, use the, the uh, VIX now as a tiebreaker. And I would say that... Um, <laughs> Things are a little bit more bearish than bullish in this scenario today. Things are still holding up nicely on a um, daily chart. So if we go back to the S&P 500, but again, this could crack at any time and fail. Uh, we could get some uh, better than expected news from other earnings and maybe it pops up. But again, you have to take a look at the environment that we're in. So again, just be very, very careful with how you trade the markets right now. People don't really know if they're coming or going here. And they're waiting to see if this holds up, kind of looking around at each other and saying, you going to sell your stuff? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to sell yours? Uh, I don't know. And so when somebody finally does dump it, they, things can really heat up quick, and you get these big red bars out of things like this. So even the best bullish pattern in the world can explode to the downside very quickly, or like uh, they can also go up very nicely as well. So again, like I said, just be careful how you trade in this environment right here and in more of a consolidating neutral range. And... Uh, as we fight through this resistance back here, we could get a nice move back up into this unfilled gap uh, into the 92 area. But again, that's kind of asking a lot here in the near future. All right, very good. That's my take on the markets right now. Again, look for those relative strength and weakness stocks in the context of all this. It'll be kind of neat to see who wins this battle. Right now, I would say the trend, the trend Q, are both in the neutral range. So they're sort of corroborating each other. And, and the VIX, again, is sort of the tiebreaker at this point to my eye. And since it's up, even though the momentum is slowing here, I would say that things are a little bit more bearish than normal. So, very good. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and uh, take care.